Let's take a look at command line basics. Single quoted strings. Many times when passing arguments to a command, it is desirable for a string containing spaces to be treated by bash as a single token. As we previously discussed, one mechanism for obtaining this behavior is to escape the relevant space characters using the backslash character. Another alternative is to enclose the string within double quotes. A third alternative, which we will discuss now, is the use of single quotes. Just as when double quotes are used to enclose a string, when a string is enclosed in single quotes, that string will be treated by bash as a single token. Recall that when using double quoted strings, word splitting, parameter expansion, tilde expansion, and brace expansion are suppressed, but parameter expansion, arithmetic expansion, and command substitution are still performed. When a string is enclosed within single quotes, none of these expansion operations are performed. Let's look at an example, but first, let's create a new directory containing a couple of empty text files. Now, let's try a command involving tilde expansion, brace expansion, command substitution, arithmetic expansion, and parameter expansion. Bash begins by tokenizing the argument line, resulting in seven tokens which are passed as arguments to echo. The first argument is the plain text string hello, comma. The second argument is the plain text string world. The third argument is the string tilde slash example slash star dot txt. This argument is expanded using tilde expansion, and wildcard expansion, into home lanes example a dot text and home lanes example b dot text. The fourth argument is three dot dot seven within curly braces. This is expanded using brace expansion into three, four, five, six, seven. The fifth argument is file etsy crontab 
within dollar parentheses. This expands via command substitution into the result of performing the file command with the argument etsy-crontab, resulting in etsy-crontab colon ASCII text. Just as if we had typed it at the command line. The sixth argument is the arithmetic operation 2 plus 2, which is expanded using arithmetic expansion into the result 4. The seventh argument is the variable user, which is expanded using parameter expansion into lane s. The echo command prints each of these results separated by a single space character each. Now, let's see what changes when we enclose this argument list within double quotes. First of all, we can see that the literal space characters in the string are preserved. This is because the entire quoted string is treated by bash as a single token. When the string is enclosed in double quotes, tilde expansion is suppressed. Wildcard expansion is suppressed. Brace expansion is suppressed. But command substitution still takes place. Arithmetic expansion still takes place, and parameter expansion still takes place. Now, let's see what happens when we enclose the argument within single quotes instead of double quotes. Again, we first see that the literal space characters are again preserved. This is because, as before, the entire quoted string is treated by bash as a single token. When the string is enclosed in single quotes, all forms of expansion are suppressed. Tilde expansion is suppressed. Wildcard expansion is suppressed. Brace expansion is suppressed. Command substitution is suppressed. Arithmetic expansion is suppressed. and parameter expansion is suppressed. Instead, we get the exact literal string that we typed in being returned by the echo command.